Welcome back to Basin Gridiron. I'm your host, Jay Russell. Now, one of the hottest offenses in the Basin, Ira Ann's. They had 420 yards, a total offense. But more importantly, they're 1-0 in district. I now welcome to the show quarterback Clayton Kent, running back Kyle O'Bannon. How you guys doing, man? Doing good. Thanks for having us. What about you, Kyle? You, you go there, bro? I'm good. All right, man. <laughs> Saw you dazing off into the camera <laughs> for a second. All right, Clayton, we're going to start off with you, man. You guys have scored 39 points in at least, I believe, six games this year. Why is the offense clicking so well? I think we're just playing great team football, and everyone, our chemistry is real good. Everyone's giving great effort all the time. It's really helped us out. I can definitely see that on the field. And Kyle, man. You've been named the Athlete of the Week before, bro, and it looks like you're trying to get those honors every week. Every time I'm calling the highlights on the final score, I'm like, Kyle did it again, man. Tell me, how are you improving so much uh, in between each and every game? Well, we play for each other. We don't play for ourselves, and everybody just hustles, and I wouldn't be where I am without them. I like that. That was a nice, strong answer there. <laughs> All right, man, and then you guys played a tough game coming up against Wink. I know the score doesn't reflect it, but Wink is a pretty good team. Uh, what did you, what would you guys say, like, how did you pull out that win? Because you guys won pretty convincingly. Well, I think everyone is just doing what they're supposed to do. Everyone giving great effort all the time <laughs> and playing for each other. What about you, Kyle? Yeah, like Clayton said, everyone's playing. We're working hard and trying to do what we do best. All right, well, I'm going to ask y'all some questions to get you to loosen up. This is Basin Gridiron, man. I have the comfy red couches out here. I want y'all laid back, man. So I know you might get in trouble for answering this, but what's something funny about your head coach? Oh, he's just a funny guy in general. <laughs> he's always cracking jokes. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always making jokes with other people and always having a good time. So how do you think that helps you guys out on the field, like being in that type of environment? It helps keep everyone calm and relaxed and not too tense or anything. Well, I did see that when I went out there for practice, man. You guys look like you're a pretty good group. Now, also, do you have any talents besides football? Well, most of our talents just for football, I would say. You, you can't bust the move on the dance floor? You can't sing, sing a little bit or something? Mm, Kyle's a pretty good singer. Oh, yeah. I'm a great singer. Oh, you're the singer? Yeah. Oh, okay. You done any uh, singing lately? No. <laughs> <laughs> so do you normally sing when the team is around, or is this more of a you're in the shower and, you know, you sound real good in the shower type of thing? More in the shower. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm pretty good myself, then, if that's the case. <laughs> We're judging my shower. And then lastly, real quickly, what are your guys' plans after high school? Mm, I think we're both going to go to college, maybe play football if we get the opportunity. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, I, I think we're both going to go to college. So what, what would you say your dream college would be if you could play for that team? Probably Baylor. Baylor? Bear man. Mm -hmm. Sick. All right. <laughs> what about you, Clay? Uh, I might say Texas Tech or something Texas like that. Texas Tech? All right. Well, they're looking at the basin, man. So if you keep putting up those numbers, Cliff Kingsbury might give you a ring. Now, they were not the only ones getting it out there. I have a couple of defensive players with me. Cornerback Tyler Myers, Tanner Myers, I apologize, and Wyatt Banner. Welcome to the show, guys. Yeah, man. Thank thanks for having us. My bad, Tanner. It's you know fine. what? I was looking in the teleprompter, and I don't know why I called you that. I know your name's Tanner. <laughs> it's fine. I'll set you up nicely, man. Now, as the years progress, it looks like the defense has just gotten a lot better, man. What are you guys doing to get better each week? I mean, we're, uh, we're rotating to the ball quickly. We're pursuing it better. We're also working as a family and as a group and as one unit. We don't take selfless towards each other. We're always working together. And then why, man, it seems like the defense, like I said, is just getting better and better. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rank you guys right now? Uh, I'd have to say we're probably about a 8 right now. And we just got to keep on grinding and doing what we do best. We have to get off blocks better and just make big plays and help the backs out where they don't have to work as hard. 
Man, I would hate to see what a, a 10 looks like. <laughs> you yeah. guys are shutting people out and everything. And then this weekend, you guys had a big game against the Wildcats. How do you think this victory will help you guys in the future? We, we played a team with speed, which really is a challenge for most teams. We also have speed, and it helps us get together and get out there after them. And then also, what would you think about it? I think that playing Wink, because they had a bunch of speed, it helps us know that we can contain them and that we can play teams farther, like in the playoffs and stuff, to have team that have speed and be all right. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, playoffs, because that's what we're going to talk about next. Why do you think this team will go further in the playoffs this year? Because we're not worried about just yourself. We're worried about the whole team and how, how good we make each other look and not just ourselves. I think we'll go better this year because we have a, or go farther this year because we have a really good defense. And to go far, you have to have a really good defense. And we have two backs that are really good and outstanding that help us out. And y'all have a squad. Like, I, yes, yeah. I'll say that. It seems like somebody new is always stepping up each and every week. Now, I want to talk about your guys' talents, man. I know you guys have some good talents out there, too. Well, I can juggle pretty much anything from a baseball to a basketball. Oh. I do it when I get bored and just pick up three objects and start juggling them. <laughs> the juggling, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, I? Uh, I got a pretty mean handstand I can do. Oh, you can yeah, do it. Yeah, I could probably do it. Walk for about a yard, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Every time I try mine, I just fall, like, right down, man. Yeah. I cannot do it that well. And then, uh, lastly, you guys, what's your favorite song on the radio right now? My favorite song on the radio is The uh, Long Hot Summer Day by Turnpike Troubadours. Mine's probably She Likes the Beatles by William Clark Green. All right. Good songs, good yes, choices. Sir. Uh, well, you guys, good luck next week, and welcome back to Basin Gridiron. I'm your host, Jay Russell. Now we welcome back Ira and head coach Mark Kieroff and Braves cheerleader Haley Cravens. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us Thank back. Thank you for No problem. Us. Well, first thing I want to ask you, Erion County is up next, and we know that's not going to be an easy game. How are you guys going to be able to get a win? Well, you know, we have to focus on offensively. They, they put a lot of stress on you with a lot of formations. Uh, they have two skill kids that show a lot of speed and vision and make big plays. And then defensively, they've shut down every opponent they faced and create a lot of turnovers. You know, we just, you know, look forward to the opportunity and the challenge Friday night and try to, you know, they're undefeated for a reason. So, you know, we, we want to match them and accept the challenge. Yeah, well, they may have shut down everybody, but they haven't played the Braves yet, so <laughs> we'll have to show them with the Basin. <laughs> All right, now, Haley, the way I met you guys, I heard lip glosses popping by yes. Little Mama in the gym, and I just walked in there. You guys were having such a great time. What is the girls' favorite song to dance to? Well, we have fun dancing to the Quan and like the whip and just all those together. We just, we just are silly all the time, no matter what. And we like to dance, so I guess that's really it. But our favorite one is the Quan. So right now, I don't know what's going to be next. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to learn it. I was gonna go up there and do something, but I'm still watching YouTube videos, so I'm gonna yeah. back off a little <laughs> bit. So a question to both of you guys: How far can this team go this season? Well, I think, you know, as far as our health and, you know, work ethic and we improve every week will take us, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, that'll, that'll take us to December, you know, with our defense playing so well this, this year. You think I, I think as good as this team looks right now that I hope to be cheering all the way into December. So. All right. Now, Haley, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Now, you see these guys on the field every day, see them in school and stuff. Who would you say the best dressed football player is? Um, Who has the most style on the team, the most swag? I think they all have their oh, own different. Oh no! They all have their own different styles. I mean, I can't really say one, but she's going with the democratic answer there. Did you see that, coach? I right. did not say answer. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Coach, what, what, what do you think? You see these guys, too. Like, who, who has the fashion down on the team? Man, I think that's a flat run in none of them, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Coach, Coach, Close you call. Okay. <laughs> I love it, the honesty on the set right now. <laughs> so, Coach, I know you were waiting for this question. What's your favorite dance move? Man, anyone I've ever seen Clayton do. Because, you know, he's just 
energy all the time. Oh, it's the so Clay's just, the dancer yeah, on the team. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's so the next touchdown, Clay. I'm gonna need to see something. I don't know what you do, but I need to see it because we want to get it on TV there so the whole base can check it out. What do you think, Haley? Um, the mega whip. The it's, mega whip. Yeah, it's like I would show you, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that right now. Just, you know what? I'll do a little tease. We'll record it, then we'll put it on our Big Two Facebook page, so you can show us there, right? All right. All right, so we can do that. <laughs> so then also, when I went out to practice, I saw some pretty cool fish hats that you guys had, and, you know, when we're filming out there, it's a lot of work. Our necks get hot and stuff, so <laughs> I was just seeing how can I get one. Jeff Everly, how can we get a hat or something? We actually got you a hat. So oh, so we have a little hat? Helped you up with the hat, <laughs> Shout out to Ira. That, that, that's what you do. You, you hook up the host there and get a little hat. So I'm going to rock this, take a picture in it. And then lastly, what I'll say about the Iran community, they're in such full support of the football team, athletics. Uh, what can you say about them? You know, it's just a great a atmosphere to coach uh, and have your kids, you know, be rewarded. They put a lot of work in, and our community comes out and supports them. And, you know, it makes it pay off for our kids. What do you think, Abe? I think that the community has always supported the Braves, no matter what, and um, they just bleed red and black. It's just in their blood, so I think that it's good to have them. Well, I do believe it, because you guys come out in the studio right now. Everyone can't see, but there's about like 15 to 20 people <laughs> over there supporting the team. Good luck next week versus Erion County, and thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us.